I've been muted this entire time. I've been talking for almost 30 minutes. Well, hello, leaf on a tree. Temporally appropriate greetings, my most excellent friend. Temporally appropriate greetings, all of my excellent friends. Apparently, my mic was muted this entire time. That's awkward. I'd been making. I wonder. I like. I wonder if like my whole early patter spiel, like my warm up spiel. I bet all that was lost into time. I was muted for twenty. Well, it's only really like fifteen minutes. Right, some of that was music warm up time. But that's okay. Welcome in, everyone. Hopefully, you're having a great day. How's everyone doing? <laughs> we got the moon. How's everyone's Monday? How are you doing today, Leaf? How are you doing today, Tony? Right. You you do legitimately love the combat of Nino Cooney. How deep into Nino Cooney are you? Is the real question. Because I thought it was fine. I'm probably not going to do Balloon World. I've, I'm not planning to do Balloon World. I have not ever done Balloon World. I'm probably not doing it today. Oh, okay. Now, give it another 10 hours. And then let me know how you feel about it. Once you start getting your, your, and I quote, allies. Because that's definitely a loose term to use for them. Oh, hello, Sammy. Hello, everyone. Happy Monday. We the slowest moon in the game. One of them is a pirate, and he is a shifty some bitch, and he's worthless. The girl is also worthless. They're both worthless because their AI is just terrible. Again, it's a charming looking game with a charming story, visually appealing. But the deeper you get into it, the worse the combat gets, right? When you don't have to deal with your, and I, again, loosely quote, allies, your AI friends, and their idiotic Pokemon, it's fine. But when you do, it's not fine. But that was just my experience with it. All right, we got. There we go. Lego City Undercover. I've never even he heard of Lego City Undercover, but I missed out on the Lego games. All right, there's one over there. I need need them for too, isn't it? Pretty sure I need to bring our froggy boy back to the start. Wee, wee. Well, hello, anime. How are you today? Welcome in. Temporally appropriate greetings, all of my most excellent friends. You know what? Some days being okay is okay. I'm doing all right. I didn't, uh, I was a little sick last night. Hmm, my tummy hurt. I had a few days where I'd fallen off the wagon of eating decently and it came back to haunt me. Your mid thirties are just a great time of your life for things like that. We're doing all right. We're doing all right today. Got my friends. I'm on spring break. I got a conference presentation tomorrow. I am on spring break. Means I don't have to teach. I got to do a little bit of grading. I do have to present 
at a conference tomorrow, but I'm not like going to the conference. The conference is here, so I'll only have a decent, halfway decent shirt on, and we'll be presenting online. We think I can land on top. No, no, we go through it. But yes, it is spring break. We're spring breaking around these parts. I don't even know what Bloom World does. Hey. Yeah. Oh. Uh -huh. oh. No, thank uh -oh. you. Eh, I might do a Balloon World just for funsies. Alright, the new, uh... So I did a little bit of spring cleaning with regards to the... Um, the layout is a little bit cleaner now. Takes up less space on my computer. Less RAM. So, I think it looks a little bit cleaner. What do y'all think? I like it. Got all those little jobbies. Looks very ice. Oh, this subworld kind of sucks. Let's do it. What did I say about this subworld? Let's do it anyway. Well, thank you. I uh, I think it looks clean. It looks a little bit more clean than the other one. Which, and it's completely running, not directly on my computer. Which that's nice. Uh, it's it's web based. Bonk. Maybe we don't do this sub. Now nah, I gotta get warmed up. I gotta do this. You're, no, no, no. Ra Rainmaker, Rainmaker's my my chatbot. Rainmaker's a new chatbot. Do not ban Rainmaker. No, Ray, Ray, Rainmaker, Rainmaker's chatbot. Sorry, I should have told you that right off the bat. Mm. You're here. We 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 like Rainmaker. He's a good chap. Right. It's a little bit more functional than Nightbot. just naturally there well I appreciate your protective mama bear instincts Sammy helping me out mm. good mod cookie for you nope shorted it yeah I don't actually I really don't like this underworld I don't want to just let let let's let let's find more efficient moons to get. Dolly, I don't know what this sign says. It doesn't say anything. Oh, we got straight ahead. Oh, I want to go do the that one. Let's do that one. 
We're going to do that that one, get those two, and then bounce. All right. Heading in. We got a lot of good Persona stuff coming up today, too. Uh, we now have a new target. We're ready to roll. You're enjoying Collection of Mana. I, I hear Collection of Mana is good. I thought you were just do using a Briticism there. Souls. Boom. Classic JRPG stuff. Eating self. Yeah, and you just take the hits. Take the hits. Get the hits. I hear Collection Man is like the Sega Final Fantasy. Alright, let's go to a different world. What world needs a little bit more love? So that's going to be 347. Let us set sail towards another kingdom. Well, not not made by Sega, but it's the one that was on Sega. If you know what I mean. Because you couldn't get Final Fantasy on Sega. Back in the day. Cascade, Sand. Are we going back to Sand? No. We did Lake. Another swing through... Another swing through wooded? Yeah, there's probably more in wooded to get. Swinging back through wood. We got wood. Dead kingdom. We got the wooded kingdom. Oh, they were, so they were supposed to be Final Fantasy games. They just were not. Oh, I thought there was moon gravity for a second. Hmm. Uh, that one kind of sucks. Yeah, I don't want to do that one. Let's check out the Cap Boys. Morning Wooded Kingdom. Get your mind out of the gutter. We got Wooded Kingdom in the morning is what we got. Let's buy this one. Bam! Getting close to 350. About tree fitty. All right, let's see what else we've got. We got some past Linguini, Green Mario. Are we Green Mario? Is Luigi Green Mario or is Mario Red Luigi? I think Mario's Red Luigi. They're busy watering. All right. Best track in the game that doesn't have lyrics. Pull the lever to receive the seed. That's dirty. That sounds dirty. Pull the lever to receive the seed. Just... 
Oh no, I should have brought it with me. In the deep woods. But he also has permanent ice physics, so yeah. So red, so we are today le Red Luigi. Today we are Red Luigi. Plus he's green, and green's better than red. And if you don't agree with that, then I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, we're in the deep woods. Already got those. I think I've got all the ones down here, honestly. Shake the Mario up the tree. The thing I like the most about the new, there's two things I really like about my new layout system. One, it always has an accurate count on, or at least it seems to have always have an accurate count. Yep, deep wood. We're in, we're deep in the woods in modern wood country, wooded kingdom in the morning. Wooded kingdom FM in the morning with Doc G. I should have been in radio. Should have gone into radio broadcasting. I don't think I got all these. Going into the deep woods. Please don't do radio broadcasting. Y'all yeah, wouldn't like to hear my voice on the radio? Perhaps you'd prefer NPR voice. Today, on All Things Considered, I'm James Gilly, and we're going to be talking about space law. Can we do that one? Yeah, we did that one already. My voice is like a thousand cats screeching in on the chalkboard in harmony. Is it broke? Wait, do I? Did my voice legitimately get broken? Like, like legitimately. Is my is my voice legit broken or are you just salt my game? And sometimes my audio engine breaks and you know it. Oh I already got the nut. No, no, it's all right. It's just like legitimately that that was a major concern when I first started streaming is that my, my mic would just like turn into crackly voice. Like it would, it would go full blown robot voice. And it's all right. Can I my hat back, please? Did I, not, did I not do the thing to get my hat back?
by claims of insanity. Innocent by insanity. La 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 la. He likes, he likes doing a bath. In an insane world, the only rational decision is to go insane yourself. Catch 22. Let's go in the pipe. I remember this one. T down river. That's our night. That's our night bot, buddy. Don't ban night bot. I mean, don't ban rainmaker. But maybe the snail likes the pee. Maybe he's into that. You know. Maybe. Maybe he's German. Look at all these fuzzies. I don't remember where the second one is in here. Or is there not a second one? Might just be the one. I think that one's just one. Cheers. Now that that one that yeah, that one's that one's gross, but on the other hand, he's also a snail, so snails are gross. Yeah, that one's pretty gross. the bird. That one's a refight. We're going on the iron road. Halfway point of the iron room. Yeah, we gotta hit the bird with our hat. This one goes. Don't you eat the yellow snows. I got all the ones in here, didn't I? Maybe I didn't. Look at us, extra hearts. Not that we ever get snow, you know. But general practices do not eat yellow snow. That's considered to be the best practices. Consume not yellow snow. Unless you're getting a, like a birthday cake snowball, then that's probably okay. 
All right, I'm gonna let the dog in. I'll be right back. Rose loves Super Luigi Odyssey. Earlier we were Super Waluigi Odyssey. I don't know. Oh no, that I missed? I missed. I missed. This one doesn't have Cat Mario. Uh, we definitely should play the Cat Mario one, though. Ow. Can we get one more? Ow. Yeah, the R Mario Rule of Threes is going to screw us here. I do like the Cat Mario one. Oh no, we're gonna die. Our death is imminent. Chat, our death is imminent. I told you it was imminent. Cat Mario would have taken that out. Cat Mario would have won that. Oh, that's the secret to victory here, isn't it? That's the secret. Oh no, we lost our buddy. That would have been the secret to victory. The secret of our success is not succeeding at all. There we go. Let's go over here instead. Oh no. Oh, uh, who? Huh? Nut. Nut. Y'all nasty. Where does this one go? Oh, it just goes back. Oh no! Oh no! I died. So we are approaching the end of Odyssey. What should be our next Mario game for Mario Mondays? Should we go Sunshine or should we go Super... Uh, What's the one? Super Mario 3D World. Oh, there's one up there we need to get. Or should we go back to 64? Mm, I don't think my wife would approve of that. Mm. 
you nasty. Oh, that was probably me being nasty, honestly. It was a common, it was a combined nasty. Super th Luigi 3D World. Super Paper Mario, because I love Count Black. Oh, 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 you're right. We we do have uh, Paper Mario to do as well. Okay, where are we going? Just myself. Oh, I should just stop at one. Here's how we get this one. So maybe we do that. Maybe we do the, uh... Maybe we do an RPG instead of a platformer. What we really need to do is finish a uh, thousand year door pape. I just grabbed a new thing, didn't I? Or did I not manage to actually grab that one? <laughs> Sonic 06. I did say that we would one day do Sonic 06, but that's not part of Mario Mondays. That would be like Sonic Sundays or something. Mm. Sonic. Maybe we should make that one an incentive game. M make y'all make me hate myself. I don't even know the best way to play it. Snow. Super Mario is interesting. Yeah, that's what I've heard is that it's interesting. I don't know whether or not I would actually like it, but I've got it. It looks charming. Whether or not it plays charming is a different story. observation deck. I hear the combat is just like a puzzle mechanic. Luigi x Peach. Now, it, Luigi got his own girl. Luigi's got Daisy. Daisy. Peach is with Bowser. Peach and Bowser and Mario have a throuple kind of thing going on. Captain Toad. Just give me your power moments. Give me the power moments. First you get the power. First comes the money. Then comes the women. Then comes the power. I like flying. How do I get back over there? Uh, the only way I get into that one is via a painting, and I don't remember which painting gets me there. It is a long-standing range since 1986. Yes, as long as I've been alive, Mario, Peach, and Bowser have a long-standing arrangement. They're into it. They were very progressive for the time, especially given Japanese cultural norms. Very progressive. Bar progressing.
Where's Luigi? Yeah, Luigi's just a playa. So play on playa. Play on playa. What is this area? Ooh, that 8 bit though. Oh, we already did this, didn't we? Well, rat snaps. Thought I was being cool. Girl Luigi. It's my girl Luigi. We already did that. Pathway is engaged. Such the case. We water because we care. Oh! I shoot coins. I'm a coin shooter. I, th I didn't know that this was a capture you could do in the game. Everybody had coins! Everybody had coins! Coins for everyone! More coins for the coin god. Oh, I legitimately spin my own coins when I shoot them. Oh. Oh, I did not know that. I'm spinning my own coins. So yes, I am actually making it rain. Well... Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. We're far progressive. Of course, I think they are like kind of intentionally being transgressive a lot of times, which good for them. I got the bunny boy, bunny boy, meat man and bunny boy. Tree of 54. Hmm. Like, I know for a fact I'm not running low on coins to get, but it kind of is starting to feel a little bit that way. Like, I know I'm, I'm okay on coins. I just, it, it's starting to feel like the obvious ones are running low. Yeah, we did that. There's a bit of a line. Oh, wait, 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 wait. There's one of these I can capture, I think. Hello! New house hype for Bearded Blake Show! New house hype! Hope things are going well, Blake. I hope, I hope you're enjoying your, the joys of home ownership. Have an excellent stream. Three tier one subs! Oh my lord! Oh my lord. 
Thank you so much, Peter Blake. Oh, I haven't taken the uh, the old one off here. That's the problem. Give me a second. Now realizing that that is from Brave Lord. Excellent! I knew just, just the overlay should be here. Yeah, there we go. All right, now we're much better. Excellent, Bearded Blake. I deeply appreciate you, my friend. I hope your your new house is treating you well. Getting things set up and the like. I remember the joys of doing that. I have to go buy a new oven this week. On the other end of that. As you'll find out. At some point, it becomes an annoyance. Wait, we did this, didn't we? We did. Far too generous of a man, this period Blake show. What kind of a man buys a new house and then just gives out gift subs? Oh uh, yeah, it was doubled because I had two of the same thing going on at once. It should be fixed now. I didn't realize I hadn't removed my alert box yet. The old one. Got all those. Let's try this dude off of it, off the floor. Oh, I didn't destroy him. That was a little bit surprising. So if you got one of those super hot Bearded Blake Show uh, gift subs, make sure you give that man a big shout out. Good friend of the stream. Good friend IRL. A bad lad. He is, in fact, a bad lad. A Galahad. I don't think he's a dad lad yet. He is an attractive human being. Beautiful on both the inside and the outside. Men and women both simultaneously want him and want to be him. He's Deeply sexual and entirely wholesome. He is simultaneously a sexual powerhouse and the most wholesome thing you'll see today. It's potent and virile. Possessor of an excellent beard. A beard so excellent that it is his gimmick. And it's a good gimmick. Beat that one, beat that one. It's this one that I don't know what it is. So don't I actually want to fight the dude. Wait, did I manage to not get one over here? Thought I got that nut. Thought we got that nut.
or is it the Cappy dude? <sighs> oh, he, all right. So we gotta man manage to get one of those over here. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I know what to do. Okay, we can make this one happen. Looks like Blight of Eden was our big winner on the uh, on the Bitter Blake Show gift sub of the day. We like Blight of Eden. If you don't know Blight of Eden, just check him out. He does this. The Boot of Villainy. You're simultaneously a villain. You're an anti-hero. Tony, you're an anti-hero. Just admit it. In your heart, you know to, you know this to be true. You're you're not actually a villain, you're an anti-hero. Uh, here we go. The the tales your anti-heroic heroism your anti-heroicism should be sung among the ages. Yay, we got moon. Bam. I'm at an uproot. All right. And then what's that? I don't know which one I'm missing over here. Unless it's Burb. I might be missing Burb. Not Burb, it's this guy. This little buddy. No, I missed. Son of a biscuit. Son of a biscuit. I know what I'm doing this time. We're gonna make it happen. There we go. I mean, if you think of how I have some people, the concept of this game, you're taking control of people, making them do, oh yeah, no, this game is, yeah. The implications of this game are frightening. Uh, how do we get to that nut? I think we have to fly down to it. Mario, if he's not the villain, he's at least not the good guy. And we need to go to the observation deck. Mario is definitely not a good guy. Right, he commits hom right, he commits massive homicide against an innocent race of mushroom people. Yeah, we gotta get that nut. Mario ain't a good guy. So where was it that we were trying to go? I think Mario isn't so much evil as he is indifferent. He's a man of complicated morality. Oh, that's absolutely true. Just because you're playing as someone doesn't mean they're the good guy. Hmm. Ah, no! Didn't make it happen. just means that you see things from their perspective. 
Oh, what game is it? It's the, the, the Heart of Darkness in Dubai game. I have it sitting on my hard drive. I need to play it. Dang it! Now, I do want to ch check your destructive tendencies just a little bit, right? Because just tearing things down, not the best action. Now, tearing them down to build them back up, that I can endorse. All right, we got, we're, going, we're all ready for some nut. Big nut. Big nut. It's creative destruction. And our flying hippie dude. Let's get back up to the top. He will magically teleport back up there. Magical teleportation. <laughs> teleportation. Magics. All right, now let's see if we can get to the box. No magics. What are these dark magics? No, 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 no. Oh, the, the dude actually made it there. Such dark magics. What dark magic is this? Press the digitation. Words that sound dirty, but are actually perfectly fine. Oh no! Dang it! This one's kind of hard to do. The aiming is a little difficult to land on that platform. The aiming is a touch on the difficult side. But we're going to get this one. Flying, 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 scree hee hee! Scree hee! <laughs> Here we go, got it. Ancient Elvish. Really, you're gonna bring it all the way over there? All the way over there? And I believe that if I warp, that negates it. It despawns. I believe that if I warp, it despawns. Hmm. How do I get back to it? Is the real question, though. How do I get around to it? One of these days, I'll get around to it. And someone legit deadass gave me a round thing that said to it on it. There was a round to it, so then I can't say anymore that once I have a round to it, once I get around to it, I'll get around to it. These Trixie doubles. Trixie hobbitses. Never trust fairies, they lie to you. 
Actually, they don't lie, but they, they lie by not lying. It's a, it's a whole thing. Irish lore. Celtic lore. I think. Alright, dear game, please remember that that moon's still supposed to be over there. Mario's ninja running. Naruto running. Hmm. Ah, yes, the trailer park girls who go around the outside. One must always be aware of the trailer park girls going around the outside. Trixie trailer park girls. Trailer park fairies. A white trash trailer park fairies running around here. I'm telling you what. Not your sophisticated Euro, Euro fairies. Yeah, Eminem, he has control. He has the shine. At least he did in his early days. That. to get over there. I'm going to warp and it's going to disappear and I'm going to be real mad. Yep. You have to get back. without warping. That bothers me. It's bad moon design. Bad moon design. Alright, talk to you, Peach. I don't want to talk to you no more. Yeah, I have to take the dragon with me. It's necessarily a dragon. If it's a dragon, then it is the world's jankiest dragon. It's one of those like hippy dippy disco dragons. Dippy dippy disco dragon. And it goes all the way over there. Then we take him and we fly back over. Flying, 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 scream! There we go. Oh, 
And then, I, and then, and then I'm impatient with the, with the actual climb. Patience, not my greatest virtue. Hmm. Hey, anime, we got something for that. We got the anime, we got the big old lurking work. We are the number one lurking work stream in the world. We are here for your lurking work needs. We love our lurking work. People do suck at voicemails. That's just send emails. Oh, no, 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 hard no. Just don't leave voicemails. Just send an email, send a text. I'm sure it's a work thing and, you know, voicemail is appropriate. But, like, for real though, just, just shoot me an email. I'd rather an email. I'd rather a Discord message. Where's their uh, poppy doopal doo? Yeah, if you don't give me all the information, I can't help you. So the best thing you can possibly do is call back. Well, you know what? Just give them the call back. Oh, wait. You're an IT. Yeah, you're. Yeah. I forget that you're in IT. Oh, it's training. Nut. Getting trained. Like, I need you to tell me. Like, it's. Here's my name. This is what you should. And it's like, please leave your name, number, and a brief message about your concern. We'll get back to you as soon as. Hi, you've reached Dr. James Gilly. I'm not available with the phone right now, so please leave me your name, number, and a brief message, and I will get back to you as soon as I possibly. And a brief message concerning your issue, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you, and have a great day. Hey, this is Anime Flareon calling you back concerning your call uh, from earlier. I'm sorry I, m I wasn't able to reach you, but uh, please let me know what your issue is and I'll be glad to assist you. Have you tried turning it off and back on again? one hey Mike this is uh this is anime Flareon calling back about your issue from earlier please let me know what uh could you give me a brief description of what you're encountering and how I can uh, how I can best assist you today Remember to use your best customer service voice. And just you know, just let me know which, uh, briefly what your issue is and how I can best best assist you today. We in inter we in information technology are deeply concerned about your question. 
We're deeply concerned about your ability to function during your workday. We want to help you be as productive as possible. So please, remember to let us know what your issues are and we will serve you as promptly as we possibly can. We are experiencing increased call volume times at this moment, so please just let us know. Please be patient and let us know. Or something like that. I don't know. Ground pound jump. <laughs> something along those lines. Customer servicey. Not that I've ever worked in cu Well, I kind of work in customer service. I'm a... I gotta do office hour stuff. Hi, you've reached Dr. James Gilly. I can't, I'm not available with the phone right now. Please leave your name, number, and a brief message. I'll assist you as soon as I possibly can. My office hours are Monday through Friday, 8.45 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. And if you'd like to follow my socials, please go to http colon backslash blast slash linktr.ee slash applied science. Thank you and have a great day. If you'd like to connect with me on social media, I am at applied science. If you'd like to connect with me professionally on social media, I am at jamesgilly78. I probably shouldn't be, you know, doxing myself on stream, but then again, I've shown you all my book. Like, yeah. Okay. Take a picture of the hint art. Uh, you know what? Let's go to Sand Kingdom. I have a hint art for Sand Kingdom. Boom. 361. And there are new products added to the shop. We do love ourselves a good odyssey. Yes, let's go to sand. I feel like there's more to do in sand. Choo-choo. <laughs> I lovely, I, lo I quite like the lovely pink that your uh, text shows up with, anime. It's a lovely light pink, like a pale or a blush. Oh, it's the Moa. Wait. Yeah, we didn't do this one. That wasn't it. That wasn't it. All right, we're gonna bang our heads at this, I think. We're gonna go get the fancy one that's hidden. I'm going backwards. Now I'm deeply in trouble. Not deeply in trouble. Just a little bit in trouble. That gives us one. Bam. Alright, let's get 
Let's get the Moai. Moai. Now it's just to survive. I yeeted myself off the edge. I should count deaths on this particular subworld. This is one that simultaneously I have to be patient. I also have to hurry up. Almost had it. Almost had it. I almost had it. This is going to be the one. This is the run. 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 Told you that was the run. I didn't lie. That one was the run. Double moon get. What is up, Haywire? Temporally appropriate greetings by most excellent friend. Hope you're having a lovely Monday. I think I already did the music one. I already did the music one. I think I already got the bird even. Did that. Got that moon. To the top. Now where's the flying guy go? Flying guy's go for that one. Bit rough, but you're chilling out on streams to make it better. Well, I am on my first day of spring break, so life's going pretty well for me. Felt a little off kilter yesterday. We're doing alright. Sorry your day's going a bit rough, but welcome in. We're a nice chill space. Good place to chill out. We are a good place to chill out. We are the number one lurk and work stream. We go for big brain, chill chat, multi culty, all that good stuff. We go for a nice chill sort of day. So welcome in. Grab your favorite beverage that you can drink for whatever time it happens to be. And chill out with us. Both chill and relax. Or as the youths might say, chillax. Boom. Got it. Got him. 
Or is there another one? It's a nice, chill Mario collecting of the moon sort of day. Love to see it. Ooh, cold medicine with honey to make it less gross. Now that... Yeah, that's the good cold medicine. I'm sorry you are feeling sick. It is definitely allergy season where I'm at. Well, thank you for choosing your lurk and work here today. Or your lurk and recover. Recovering from illness is work. And you got that cold medicine with the honey to make it taste less bad. It improves your day. Make a nice little hot toddy with it. Mm-hmm. Mix, mix that cold medicine with some tea and some honey. Yeah, we approve of that. That is Doc G approved. Says it's like right here. What moon is this that we're missing? It's the Sphinx. I feel like I've already talked to the Sphinx. The one who gallops across the sand. How many coins required to get on its back? 30. I know trivia. We already got that. Boo, we already got that one. The laser buddy. Hmm. There's two out that way. No. Oh hey. This is how we get to the city. Big city lights, right there. I don't think I've done this one. Mario squid. Mario's a squiddy boy. Ah, good morning, mother. I died. I fell into the grape juice and I died. Good morning, Mama G. Are you feeling better this morning? I'm hoping you're feeling better this morning. Hopefully you slept. Hoping that's what's went down.
No, died again. All right. This one's a little tricky. This one's a little tricky. Really tired, finally went to sleep about three hours ago, and now you're back up again. So you need to sleep more. Whatever you can possibly do to sleep more, you need to do that. You need to sleep. Humans need sleep. Turns out, humans need sleep. Who would have thought that? Turns out, if you're a human human being, if you're a human being, you're gonna need some sleep. Pretty regular intervals, about eight hours of it. About eight hours, not necessarily eight hours, but about eight hours. Three hours is not enough. Okay, how do I get that other one? So I need to have enough water to be able to jet all the way across. Yeah. I'll tell you you're having difficulties. Having difficulties typing. That's one. The other one's also difficult. That's okay, resets. We already got that many. Not nearly enough. I am a professor of political science. And I do not mind you asking. I research sovereignty and like the social science questions of living and working in space. No, we're not going to make it. We're not going to make it, chat. Oh, we got to get refill. That's not enough. Right. I do not have a PhD in barbecue. I do know someone that has a PhD in gumbo, though. Like, literally, they wrote their dissertation about the anthropology of gumbo. There we go. Aiming to be a bio professor. Nice. It is, it is a hard road. It is a hard road to trod to get into uh, in the academia. 
but it's totally worth it. At least if you're the kind of person that is into that stuff. I really enjoy teaching. The research, research is okay, but I really prefer teaching. I really like teaching. Although I have to present some research at conference tomorrow. Uh, that's probably going to serve, the paper I'm presenting tomorrow is probably going to serve as the core to my next book. I'm more of a book guy than a papers guy. Yeah, I've kind of lucked into some some good stuff career-wise. I've gotten lucky. I've lucked into places that let me research and do what I want to do and still let me mostly teach. But it's a good fit for me, so I'm happy with it. Yeah, the teaching. Yeah, I definitely don't want to do high. Yeah, I could not do high school, but university is a good level for me to teach. Uh, the research is nice. Research. I mean, it's good to stay current on what's going on in the world and produce new knowledge. But I like teaching. <laughs> Woof. Throw the hat, Mario. Throw the hat. Hey, Yuki. Temporally appropriate greetings, my... Most excellent of friends. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well today, Yuki. Hope you enjoyed your weekend. Yeah, college. I really enjoy teaching at the university level. I like teaching adults. I like it. So we are on, wait, we finished Futaba's palace. We're, 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 we're getting close. Uh, well, not close. We're like 60 some odd hours into Persona. Um, I have done five palaces, six palaces. Uh, we're, we're taking on Big Bang Burger Boy now. And we're going to start the infiltration today. Right. So we're going to, we're going to start an infiltration in just a little while. Thank you for that follow. Hey, Wire Compass, I greatly appreciate it. I greatly appreciate you. Temporally appropriate greetings, my most excellent friend. Welcome into the Big Brain Bunch. We are the number one lurk and work stream in the world I feel like I need a, I need a Goomba I just need a Goomba and I have to walk the Goomba yeah I, I'm about to enter the quote unquote worst palace uh, but it's also space themed so your mileage may vary I'm kind of into it because you know space theme but. Could very much be the case that it is just a terrible palace. I haven't had a chance to take to take it on yet. So we'll see today. Uh, 
I, I did hear that there is there there might be some juice behind a sequel to the to Tron Legacy. There might be some juice behind a third Tron movie, and I gotta tell you, I couldn't be more excited because y'all know how I feel about Tron. In fact, my my the only non Bill and Ted alert that we have is a Tron alert at this point. All right, we need a Goombat. She's in love. We'll grab two Goombas just in case. And it could be in Kingdom Hearts. Like, I I am sold on that idea. Like. The Kingdom, the Tron worlds are the best worlds in Kingdom Hearts. Like, it's not particularly even close. At least in my book. No! Okay. Alright, we got a bridge. We have a bridge. Gonna, we're gonna go. We're gonna go get some. We're gonna go do some Goomba love here real quick. And by quick, I mean it's gonna take us forever. It's one of the longest, slowest hearts in the game. Not heart, moon. But yes, I very much hope they make another sequel to Tron. I'm just sad that Daft Punk won't be, are not together to do the soundtrack. Though I imagine Thomas being Alter will do it. Eh, poo. The poo worlds are kind of just meh. Yeah, the Kingdom Hearts 3 worlds were really good. Kingdom Hearts 3 was good. I don't know why people didn't like it. Having played them all in a row, so they were all fresh in my mind, I liked Kingdom Hearts 3. Uh, you know, mini games like the poo worlds with the mini games can just like go away. At least they weren't super egregious in Kingdom Hearts Two, Kingdom Hearts Three. Hey Goombat, Goomba love. Bam, love at the edge of the desert. Uh, we're we're probably about to wrap up our Mario. We're gonna get towards Persona pretty soon, and you know, little lion's not a bad thing there, uh, Nagido. Little lion's not a bad thing. So we're probably gonna get to Persona sooner rather than later. No man, we like Kingdom Hearts. This is not a Kingdom Hearts stream. We like Kingdom Hearts. It has been a Kingdom Hearts stream in the past. I'm just not... I am I am a variety guy. I don't like just one game. I play in lots of things. Oh, let's see what we got here. We got a Moai. Oh, I can't take the Moai with me. He doesn't come in here. Don't play that many games. Well, you know, we all start out with something. We all start out somewhere. Might as well start there. Sounds like you're interested in Persona, though. So that's cool. No, we got. There are a lot of games to be played, and everybody loves Mario, right? Who doesn't love Mario? Kind of, kind of interested in it. You know, branching out in this world. Hmm. 
Mario and Luigi. Uh, Mario, Mario's. We were just talking about that. Like, what are what is our next Mario Monday game going to be? Because we're getting close here. Uh, all right, we can go Sunshine. We can go Super Pape. We can go um, 64. All those 64 kind of sucks. Uh, we could go. I don't have Superstar Saga. I don't know. I don't actually have any of the Mario Luigi games. I got Super Pape. We could continue our Thousand Year Door playthrough, which we've not knocked out. Uh, I do not have the Superstar Saga. Uh, I could probably pick it up. Uh, I've got Luigi Mansion 1 and 3 we could do. We could finish Luigi's Mansion 3. I don't have two. Dark Moon. Uh... What do you mean, Dark Moon? I don't know what you mean by that. We're on. We're doing a darker side run. That's what we're doing right now. Oh, Luigi Two is Dark Moon. Right over the top. Yeah, we could just like pull out. Is this a sub world? The second Luigi Mansion. Yeah. Yeah, I probably could find it. I just don't have it, if you know what I mean. Yeah, don't fall in the grape juice. Mario is diabetic. He doesn't want to go in the grape juice. It'll put him in a coma. Make him lose a whole lot of money. He has to go to the hospital. Don't fall in the grape juice. Too much sugar. So there's a moon right here that I'm just missing. Uh, I, I have not played a Tales of game. I have Symphonia or Berseria. I have one of those. Go through the door. Three rooms just. Well, this might be bad. And Mar it's Mario logic. Although, I gotta say, of all the video games out there, Mario actually, like, from a storytelling perspective, isn't very logical, but from a gameplay perspective, is very logical. They teach you a skill, you then apply that skill in a different way. Oh, that's a really tough one to get to. It's a really tough one to get to. We did the bird. Yeah, Mario doesn't really have a story, right? Mario and... Right, so Princess Peach and Bowser and Mario have a have an arrangement and they, 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 they play their kinky games. Yes, there's an upside down pyramid in the air. That is definitely what's going on. That is that is canon in this chat. That is our that is our official chat canon for Mario and Lu Mario and Luigi and Bowser and, and Peach and all them. Can I get a Jaxi? Can a boy get a Jaxi? I would like to take the Jaxi, please. And they like to play their games together, and that's okay, right? We don't kink shame in this chat. You know, Jaxi. Where's the Jaxi? Also, what is that moon way over there? I think that's like maybe if you wait long enough, a Jaxi will show up. Like, so there's a 
you can ride on the back of like this jaguar statue. And that's how you go get that one moon over there. It he can walk through the uh the the jaguar statue can walk on grape juice. And I really need one, but I don't know where to grab it. I thought that was where you grabbed it, but I, f I must have forgot still. All right, let's go fishing. There might be a Jaxie over here I can take. Oh, see, here's the Jaxie. Oh, I haven't taken a Jaxie yet. That's where our problem is. Our problem was I haven't taken one yet. It also handles very poorly. Driving the Jaxi handles very poorly. Doesn't have great handling! Turns really, really hard. It goes too fast. Handles like driving a... I don't, I don't know why I, hit, why I hit his butt with my hat. I tried to capture him as opposed to ride him. All right. Yeah, I can use the brake, but it doesn't work super great. Just drive with the emergency brake on. Hey, Walt. What's up? Drifting. We're, we're having dif drifting difficulties this morning. How you doing today, Wald? Temporally appropriate greetings, my most excellent friend. Maybe I'm just bad at driving this thing. Maybe I'm just bad at driving this thing. I, I did play a racing game, but man, this thing just... It drives poorly. I'm bad at driving around the corners. I need to... I'm actually really pretty good at Mario Kart. But Jaxi... Jaxi handles poorly. Favorite racing game is Mario Kart, Nitro Speed, Most Wanted. Uh, I know this is a controversial thing, but I'm a Diddy Kong Racing fan. I love Diddy Kong Racing. Controversial statements. All right. I also haven't driven a Jaxi in forever. Yeah, Diddy Kong Racing is dope. Uh, it is old school. It was on 64. All right, we're not going to go for the music note. Not going for the music note. We're just going to get the regular one. Whatever that giant's pig's name is. On what game? In Diddy Kong Racing, uh, I probably didn't. I was I was in middle school. I I don't know. I might have. I think I, that was one of the few games I actually did beat back in the day. 
Oh no, I, I you feel free to laugh. I am bad at this. And I know it. And I know it. It handles really poorly. In case you're wondering, like it does legit just, just handle like butt. It's very much ice physics. I'm gonna try driving with the e-brake on for a second. Hey, we got it. We got it. All right. So you have to balance driving with the e-brake on and then just let it roll. All right. We got that one. We got that one. Oh, actually, we didn't get that one. All right, we're gonna pick up one more Jaxi. We're gonna pick up that moon just because it's sitting there taunting me. And then we're probably gonna take a very short break so I can use the restroom, refill my water, and switch over to Persona. I'm gonna play some Persona for a while. We, there we go. Hey, you're, we're, we're, we're all in this together, chat. We're all in this together. Oh. We're all in this thing together. Y'all are my backseat. No, my backseat drivers. I love my backseat drivers. I like my chat. Bam. I think there's a couple other places I can take him for funsies. There's a there's a couple of moons where you basically you just sit him down. Uh, I don't know how to get to that one. Hey, that's totally understandable, Yuki. You know, there's no mandatory attendance. This is not a mandatory attendance chat. I don't take attendance. I just like hanging out with y'all. If you want to hang out with me, that's cool. If you don't feel like hanging out, that is also cool. Just know that I was thinking of you and hoping you were having a good day. A glitchy channel points bonus chest. Gotta have your channel points. Like, you know, gotta have your channel points. If you don't have channel points, what you even doing? Did I do this one already? I think I did this one already. I yeeted myself. Oh, it failed to work. Yeah, you gotta get your channel points. You gotta get your... Gotta get the channel points. It's the point of doing this thing if you're not even getting your channel points. You gotta mess with the... Gotta mess with streamer. Gotta make him drink water and stretch and stuff. You gotta take care of your streamer. Stream points for the care and feeding of your streamer. Hey, I just noticed we're only 15 follows away from big people. Gotta love big people. Speaking of that hydrate, cheers. Oh, and the stretch. Oh no, performance anxiety is, is is kind of its own separate thing, and I totally get people who have that. I I used to have it, like when I was much younger, and I just kind of got over it at some point. I got used to being in front of people and on stage. And yeah, now does everyone get there? No, definitely, definitely not. But. 
it's okay if you don't. It is okay if you don't. It's not for everyone. In fact, the number one fear that most people have is public speaking or being in front of, you know, public speaking in front of other people. It is always the number one fear that most people have. <laughs> Guess you won't be a pop star. That, that, and that's okay. Not everybody has to be. In fact, if everyone was one, then nobody is one. There is a cannon up here somewhere. Because I need to be at this height to get there. Yeah, if I couldn't do the public speaking thing, I couldn't do my job. Luckily, I got there. Oh, yeet myself in the wrong direction. I just want to collect that flag over there, and we'll call it. We'll call Mario good for the morning. Gonna be persona time. We'll see how much of that infiltration we can get done today. I really don't find much of a difference between 30 or 300. Because, you know, I used to do, like, you know, I, I've done stage productions and things like that as well. And I, I'll stop eating myself. We'll call that good. You know what? We're going to call it good. We're going to go do a, do a moon dump. Then I'm going to go use the restroom, grab some water. But literally, the mechanic in this game is to eat myself. That is what this game is about. All right, where are we finishing up today? The moon collection is slowing down. We're at 372. 